Okay, we have one more presenter this afternoon. Kelly Lytle, who's a nutrition student at Oregon State University, and her presentation is, Will Weight Loss Fix Our Sick Livers? Welcome, Kelly. Planned my outfit very carefully today. <laughs> the story of our livers is one of an amazing and vital organ that performs a phenomenal amount of work for us daily. I could be biased, it is my favorite organ. However, today's story is about a disease that affects 25.5 million Americans and will soon be the leading cause of liver transplants. Now, I think most of us here in this room today can appreciate that we as a Western society are in the throes of an obesity epidemic, and it has profound physical consequences on how our livers function. When we gain extra weight, secondary to an unhealthy diet and lifestyle, and in particular when this weight gain occurs around our middle, our liver begins to store that extra fat, which is not normally one of its jobs. This leads to a cascade of inflammation and other damaging events until finally parts of our liver actually begin to die off and are replaced with scar tissue, leaving less healthy tissue to do the necessary work. Now the general clinical advice given to these patients is to simply lose weight. In my PhD research, I've been interested in assessing what the impact of that weight loss is on the sick livers. Can our livers lose weight easily? Can we remove that scar tissue and restore normal function? I've studied this question by using mice that are bred to respond to a Western diet the same way humans do. So I feed them a diet high in saturated fats and simple sugars, or essentially a fast food diet, and they get quite obese with very sick livers. I then put these mice back on a healthy diet. They quickly begin to lose that extra fat, returning to a normal, Healthy, body weight, perfect, exactly what we want. However, despite dramatic weight loss, their livers don't return to a normal size, nor function, and importantly, that scar tissue still remains. Similar to how we could all have scars on our knees and elbows from falling when learning to ride a bicycle decades ago, these liver scars appear to be persistent. This result has broad implications. Prior to this work, it was assumed that the damage done with diet and weight gain could simply be undone with weight loss. Now we know that we not only need to help these people lose weight, but be able to design medicines of the future that target these scars and mechanisms for removing them. Thank you. <laughs> 